clutch is a wooden purse that was made probably in about the 70s that I ordered on eBay for five bucks. I sanded it down, I stained it, and inside I put walls. So it's a five by five white walled space located in the heart of my purse. It looks like any standard gallery. It's just I don't have a door. It um, opens up from the top. And um, I carry it with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Welcome to Chicago Arts. In this episode, we caught up with Meg Duguid, owner and operator of Clutch Gallery. Although Clutch is only 25 square inches and located inside of her purse, Meg is able to showcase artists with the same presence as even the largest white cube. All right, well, Clutch opened last December, and it's initially laid out as a year-long curatorial project. It's going to go from December through the end of this year. The initial premise for Clutch was <laughs> I wanted to own my own space. <laughs> um, I mean, one of the great things about Chicago is that everyone kind of has a little extra space, and they dole it out for exhibitions. My extra space was in my purse. It was a way for me to interact with the community again, and not just the artist, arts community, but the community at large, because most of the people who view Clutch are the people I buy coffee from, or you know, clothes or groceries, and that, that was the interaction that I was looking for, and all of these artists have let me kind of do that with their work. I try to keep the gallery really open in terms of its form. Like Nick Black pulls out the walls and put in his own box because he had electronics in it. So, which was fine, he just gave the walls back to me and I put them back in. Um, for Matt King, he actually provided me day and evening pieces. So I switched out depending on the occasion. Even though it's only 25 square inches, Clutch needs as much maintenance as a larger space just on a smaller scale. I have to repaint the walls. I have to mud the walls. When I move the walls, I have to put them back in and mud them and paint them. Um, there are scrapes both on the inside and the outside of the gallery on a regular basis. Um, but there's also this other kind of personal maintenance side that um, you know I had thought of in the beginning, but I just forgot that there would be upkeep. I had to pretty much pair my belongings down to my wallet, my keys, my cell phone, and my birth control for my purse. But not only that, I can't let my wallet get too thick. So like, I have to constantly clear receipts out of my wallet because if it gets too thick, it won't fit in the space. I go everywhere that I would normally go. I tend not to go out of my way for the gallery um, because the whole premise is really that it's, it's a, a gallery that fits into my daily life. Um, let's see, Trevor Gaynor is in Clutch this month. He has done an untitled piece where he has actually put a 12-pound meteorite in the heart of my purse. Um, but because of the heft of the meteorite, he's also given me an over-the-shoulder boulder holder. So the purse is actually hidden in a fake Chanel purse. This, this exhibition is actually curated by Shannon Stratton over at Three Walls. So because for my fall opener, I wanted to kind of hand clutch over to another curator. Um, and the show runs through September 25th, I think. Somewhere thereabouts. My next exhibition is Zachary Raw, and he is out of Cincinnati. And he's giving me his house keys. And then after that, I have Danielle Ash, who is a animator out of New York. And she's going to give me a video piece. We are going to attempt to project it in clutch with a very small projector. And then I'm closing out my year with Tom Burtonwood, who's doing a drawing piece that will actually unfurl out of the space. Keep an eye out for Meg and Clutch Gallery around town. Be sure to take a peek and participate in this curatorial project while it lasts. You can also visit the Clutch Gallery blog spot. All pertinent links can be found in the info section of this video. Thank you for watching Chicago Arts. Be sure to catch our next episode and stay informed by subscribing to our channel. We'd like to hear what you think, so please take a moment and comment on our programming. Thank you again from Chicago Arts.